Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I use 6-2 for edge pairing on a 4x4, which means I solve 6 and then 2 more. And I'll demonstrate how 6-2 works. But there are a lot of times where it doesn't work out where you do 6 and then 2. Sometimes you just do 6 and you're done. Sometimes you have to do 5 and then 3. So there's different variations because the edges are not always the same or you have ones that just need to be swapped. Now the odd cases are not always bad and often they can be faster and even more efficient than if you actually had to do 6-2. So I'm going to go through a lot of the cases you'll see and what my thought process is. So if you do 6-2 or want to try it or switch to it, you have an idea of what to look out for. So the first one is just normal 6-2. So I look right here and I see blue and yellow is on the left side on the top. And that means I need to put the other blue and yellow right there. Whatever's on top here, I need to put that there. Whatever's on top here, I need to put that there. So it's always putting that on the bottom. So here's blue and yellow, so I'll put blue and yellow right there. Here's green and orange, which means I need to put green and orange right here, and I see it right there. And then green and red's on top, which means I need to put green and red right here. And then I'm going to do a wide U prime. And then you do the opposite. So whatever color is on bottom, you do that on top here, top here, top here. So for example, I'll slice. And that should pair three of them up. So now I need to put blue and orange on top right there. And where is it? There it is. Since I have blue and red here, I need to put blue and red on top right here. And since orange and yellow is right there, I need to put orange and yellow on top right here. Now, it might not always just be an insert like this. Sometimes you might need to insert it with, let's say, a sledgehammer or hedge slammer. So here is orange and yellow. I need to have that on top. So I'm going to have to insert it like that. A lot of people do a cube rotation when they insert those edges. I don't. I just like to hold it like this and insert on the front and the back. It was a little awkward at first, but after practice it got much easier, and I much prefer that because then I can just hold on to the cube like this. Now that I've set those up, I slice back, it pairs three more, and then that's going to be the six. The two is there's going to be an incorrect one on the back, and then you'll have the same pattern somewhere else on top. So here's green and yellow and red and yellow. What I'm going to do is put that right here. And I'm going to do what a lot of people do to start out with pairing edges, where you put them both on the front, slice, flip the edge, slice back. The difference here is it's a U2 move. So slice, edge flip, slice back. So that's if you actually get 6-2, what you would do for that. And I'm just going to kind of work my way down from where there might be the issue. So let's do the next thing you might see. So let me just set this up first. And so again, I'll look at whatever is on the front, on the left side, on top right here, and I have green and red. So green and red is going to be on bottom. Here's blue and yellow, so blue and yellow needs to be on bottom right here. And then here's blue and red, so blue and red needs to be on bottom right there. And then I slice. Blue and orange is on bottom, so I need to put blue and orange on top. Green and yellow is on bottom, so I put green and yellow on top. And yellow and orange is on bottom, so I put yellow and orange on top. And I slice back. Now what I might notice is that, oh, that's going to pair these up because there's yellow and red, yellow and red. You can kind of track that as you insert that piece. But then also I notice there's nothing else unsolved on top. So when I slice, I'm done. That's it. It's just six. Now you don't even really need to look at that one in the back. If you notice they're all solved on top, you can just see that way as well. So that's a really nice one when you just have to do six. It just works out. You don't have to do two more and it's really fast and efficient. So let's go through another issue you might have where it's not going to work out all the way to six. I'll show you how I solve that issue. So let's go through this. We have green and orange and set it up just like normal. Green and orange on bottom. Here's green and red. I put green and red on bottom blue and red, and blue and red on bottom. Now, I think all these times they've been on the top, sometimes they'll be in other slots, so you'd have to take them out and put them where they need to be. So I'll slice over, and then I have green and orange here, or sorry, blue and orange, and so I'll put blue and orange on top, green and yellow, and I'll put green and yellow on top, and then this is where the issue happens. There's blue and yellow here, and blue and yellow is on bottom, so I can't take that out and put it there. You should have two more left. So, literally just insert any of them, and that's it. 
Now here's where the trick comes in. Instead of just slicing back and having a bad edge or incorrect edge, incorrect edge, and one on top, I already know I'm going to do a U2 move. So instead of just slicing back, I'm going to do U2, and that's going to pair this one up and back, and then I'll put the last one in to pair here up. So here's what I mean. I'll do a U2 move, pair that up, and then I need to do one more slice back, and there's red and yellow. So I'm going to put red and yellow on top and slice back. And now we are done. So that's kind of a 5-3 method. So again, if you notice that this color that's going to be on bottom is already on top here, you just put in any edge, do a U2 move, and then this one's going to be solved, so you replace that. So when you do the final U prime back, it'll pair that one up. But now what if you don't have any other colors on top? So let's talk about that one. Okay, so it starts out like normal. We have green and orange. Let's put green and orange on bottom. Blue and yellow, so let's put blue and yellow on bottom. Orange and yellow, so let's put orange and yellow on bottom, and we slice. And then here's blue and orange, so I put blue and orange on top. Here's green and red, so I put green and red on top. And then, oh no, we have green and yellow, green and yellow. Everything else is solved on top. There's nothing to put here. So I already know what's going to happen is when I slice back, these two on back are, gonna be un are not going to be solved. And I can't just do a slice, flip, slice back right away because it's going to be incorrectly flipped. So what I'm going to do is take it out, put it here, and then do the U2 flip U2. Kind of like if we did 6-2. So this is kind of a, I don't know, would it be, I think, 4-2? Something like that. Maybe my numbers are wrong. But anyways, so I'm going to slice back, and I already know I'm going to take this out, put it back here, U2, edge flip, U2. Now, if this seems like a lot of different variations to remember, it gets much easier. Once you do it a few times, it just becomes in your muscle memory. So let's go through another example. This is actually gonna, we're gonna have a few extra edges already solved. So here's blue and yellow on top. I'll put that on bottom. Green and red on top. So I'll put that on bottom here. And blue and orange, so I'll put that on bottom here. And I slice over. And then here's red and yellow. So I put red and yellow on top. And, oh no, I already have all of them solved. Once I'm going to slice back. So what am I going to do? Well, I know when I slice back that this one's not going to be solved because that green and red is going to come over. This one's not going to be solved because that blue and orange is going to come over. And this one's not going to be solved because that green and yellow is going to come over. So what you'll end up doing is having three left, which is one of the easier cases to solve because when you slice over, I automatically do a rotation here. And I know that if I slice back, that's going to pair up. So I take this out, slice, and then replace and slice back. So when you have three edges, you do the slice, replace, slice back. And I already know that I'm going to turn and then slice back this way since those were paired up a second ago. I could do that in the back and just slice and replace this one. So for example, so I could just take this out, slice over, and then even without looking here, I just look at what's on bottom that's blue and orange. So I put that on top and slice back. That's a lot that's done in the back, and although I do insert edges in the back, I feel like I can be a little bit fast by just rotating and doing it right here. So we'll go through one more. Now, of course, there are still other cases you can have, and a lot of it's just getting used to them. And sometimes if you have multiple edges already paired, it might be best to not do 6-2, not do 3-2-3, but just to pair a few at a time and, and do that. Do it, do it more intuitively. But let's do one more, and this one's kind of fun, where here's orange and yellow, so I put orange and yellow on the bottom. Here's green and orange, so I put green and orange on bottom. And here's green and red, so I put green and red on bottom. And I slice. And that happened to solve this one. Well, I already know these are all solved, so my immediately I'll just put any random edge in. And then whatever's on bottom, there's blue and yellow, so I put blue, blue and yellow on top. Red and yellow on top, and then blue and red on top. And I slice back. Since I know I did four the first time, this is going to solve the other four. That's it. And that is 6-2 edge pairing. Now I like doing 6-2 over 3-2-3 because there are other cases that can be super efficient. And I don't know, I just like the way it flows. I like having the ability to solve all six edges at the same time. 
Now, of course, that doesn't always happen, like I just showed, but I just find it a lot more enjoyable. Thank you very much. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcreepyview.com for more news and reviews.